never gets old. What is he doing? Come on, man. You ain't black. <laughs> So uh, now we're going to go to the hypersonic. Yeah, okay. Everyone has heard about this by now. The hypersonic missile. What's hysterically funny is that, well, first of all, this is not the first time that this has happened. F from what I understand, uh, China and another country have run similar tests in the past. What, what is funny are these two headlines published a day apart, one in the New York Post and the other by the uh, Communist News Network. China says new hypersonic missile, a blow to U.S. strategic superiority. Well, listen, we, are, we have our own hypersonic missiles, number one. ICBMs, right? No. We, we have the same technology because they probably stole it from us. You mean Zuckerberg might have sold it to them? Maybe. Number two, um, any country with ICBMs has a hypersonic missile. They you literally did. fire an ICBM into orbit, and it moves it hypersonic speeds, and you can nuke someone on the other side of the planet in like an hour, hour and ten minutes. Done. And chances are we already have defenses for such things, or they will rapidly be perfected. Yeah. And here's another thing that uh, I know about that most people don't know about is uh, we've actually taken the hypersonic technology – it built it into artillery rounds. So now you can shoot 155 ammo at, with a hypersonic uh, round in it like 150 goddamn miles. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That's crazy. Well, I, and that's just the numbers that were released to the public. It could be even further. Wow. So. We have no idea how they did this, a person familiar with the test told the publication, which was apparently the initial report came out in the Financial Times on Saturday. Mm -hmm. I know the, they uh, did it. They, they literally, st you can't do business in China without surrendering your intellectual property rights. That's basically it, too. Yeah, those son of a bitches, they fucking, uh, you know, yep. stole the plans. So once again, I refer you to this headline. China says new hypersonic missile is a blow to U.S. strategic superiority. The next day, mm -hmm. China denies testing a nuclear-capable hypersonic missile and says it was a spacecraft. Well, hypothetically, it is a spacecraft because it literally skims right at the ionosphere level, which is like the beginnings of space. Yeah, a routine spacecraft experiment, mm -hmm. not like a UFO. That would have been way out in left field, even from the Chinese. <laughs> yeah. But it's hilarious because we go from this to that to this. Oh, listen, it's not rocket science. It actually is. <laughs> <laughs> you bastard. Oh, I know. The funniest reaction, though, I think has to come from uh, Peppermint Patty, uh, Miss uh, Circleback Sally here. We welcome stiff competition, and not the kind that she pays to escort her home from White House dinners. Yes. If you know what I mean. Really? Do you want to listen to what she had to say? Not really. This is, no. <laughs> we, we welcome competition from China, although we don't want that competition to veer into conflict. We've been at economic war with the Chinese for how long? This is not... Well, you we and are I, not on good relations. This is a hostile foreign state. Well, you and I are engaged in informational warfare. Yes, we are. And all we do is tell the truth. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. When when telling the truth is information warfare, something's f***ed up somewhere. Yeah. We are in bizarre world. Something garbage is money. Yeah, something's rotten in Denmark and it smells like Gwyneth Paltrow candles. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> Watch Grunt Speak Live Tuesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern, and we'll do the same thing we do every night. Try to take over the world. Nah, oh, f*** 